So I'm at the eggs again. I've made omelette and I've made it McKellar's way. And then I've fried a bit of bread so it's still soft because I want to be able to grab out the omelette and eat it. I don't want it too crunchy. So it's, instead of using just plain bread without being toasted or fried, I fry it a little bit in the pan just so it has a little bit of a crispy texture and then I can grab at it. And instead of cutting it, I just rip it. Again, this is my rendition. It gives it that rustic vintage look. I mean, there are ways I could sort of present this to even make it more fucking rustic by playing around with the board and the bread. But that's obviously the omelette. And it's a, this is a French omelette. So I've cooked it in a particular way, garnished it with uh, chives, and that's creme fraiche or fresh dolloped cream. And there's the bread. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll attack that. Oh, it just comes straight off. That's why it's a French omelette. Oh, perfect. Dip it in some fucking cream. Mmm. And gollop it. Oh, that's good. That is so balanced. The chives work well. This is one of the garnishes that you don't take off. It's meant to work well, that finishing taste. It works well with the bread, the dollop cream and everything. Oh, that's so good. Um, I didn't show you how to make this from scratch like last night because I don't want to give away everything that McKellar has on his... Uh, masterclass thing so i'm not gonna rip his show off <laughs> this is his creation so mm, be sure to activate the masterclass app your masterclass app and watch mckellar's masterclass on all that sort of stuff eggs omelets pastas it's really really good he's actually put a really good series together which has somewhat inspired me to do my Urban Survival Series. So that's what creation looks like in my kitchen. You go ahead and make it. It is absolutely beautiful.